TV. My computer is just, it's slowly dying. Yeah. Now I'm getting over heating issues now. Well, I mean, it's, it's Guild Wars 2, mm -hmm. right? It's just, it's just Guild Wars 2 will end your computer. That's how it works. Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. So are you going to make a new build? A new is that what you're doing now, Inks? Are you making a new computer? No. Oh. I, I, start, I started asking some people like Brazil and a couple others for some advice just so I have a template to go off of, but... Uh, I don't think 60, anytime soon. Sixty-seven hundred K, man. That's the good stuff. That's that's the, that's the beast. That's the uh, beast. That's what I'm gonna go get. That's the machine. Sixty-eight, 68 yeah. for streaming 68 as well, is... and video editing. Then you got another two cores. Yeah, right? it's. I need to do all of the all of those things on yeah. one machine. I definitely don't have enough to have two setups. If I if I had enough to have two setups, then I would have the gaming. I would have the gaming machine sixty-seven hundred, and the stream machine would be something different. But stream machine. <clears throat> everything has to be done on one computer just because that's the way my living situation is. So, yeah, 6800 seems like the better choice there, even though, like, the games I play will suffer a little bit. But, you know, I need to be able to stream and edit and render. Like, right now, when I render a video, it uses 99% of my CPU. Well, <laughs> I, I literally can't do anything else. That's pretty bad. Well, I mean, in fairness, isn't that kind of pretty to be expected uh, wait, wait you do you use uh, yeah, premiere yeah. you use premiere or what no 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 i have uh, the same program boots has what program is that um, director power director pro power what director. is it you yeah. it was cheap and i could afford it so what do you go. mean it was more expensive than free it was more expensive than I'm free. not. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do what, what you're going to suggest. <laughs> because was, I do uh, use it for. I do use the computer for business as well, and I just man, don't want. Thanks. I remember it wasn't that long ago either. It was like you were just you're sort of just starting out, I guess. Yeah. Um, and what do you mean, like a like, week ago? It was like <laughs> a year into your videos, though. I think, and then you're yeah. like. <laughs> I should get an editing software. You get an editing Apple's software. Windows Movie Maker. Boots, what do you use? <laughs> and then Windows Movie Maker you were using for like a year. For like I used Movie Maker. I did like webcam overlays and stuff in Movie Maker, and you can't even do that with Movie Maker. No, you can. I, was, I know, uh, right. Yeah. Even after I, I got good that, at it. Even if I, after I got that program boots for another year, I still did the rough cut in Movie Maker and then exported it over to the other. <laughs> <laughs> that fine yeah, it. But that's kind of alright then. That, lose that quality. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's kind of acceptable practice sometimes because sometimes you know you want to just get the you want to have a very simple piece it was of software. Just faster. Do the do the easy yeah. exactly do the easy stuff and then if you need something more complicated yeah, you can. Well, I mean, no, I, 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 think use, I think I think that's right. Wrong. No, I see, use Movie here's Maker too. Not, not wrong boots. Wrong. See, it's easier to edit stuff in good programs and just learn how to do it and get fast. There's a difference true. between harder and being unfamiliar with it. For sure. But, like, if you are making your first videos, you, you're allowed to use Movie Maker because you don't want to spend money before you know that you like doing something. So, for sure. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, like, for my first movies on my, on my channel, I use Windows Movie Maker, um, I think, during the Guild Wars 2 beta. I used it for those videos, and as soon as I got a, as soon as I bought a microphone, I was like, I'm not gonna have decent sound quality, and then no way to edit it properly. So you had to get some sort of good ed editing software then. So you bought bad editing software. I bought. It was the one I just like Googled best editing so oh, editing software go. in. Uh, yeah, Google is like in current top year. ten. Exactly, two thousand. 12 or whatever it Whoa. was 2013 and uh and it was the it was in the top five i guess there and it was the cheapest so i got it all right here here's all right all right all right all right so if you don't want to go the, the the less moral route this is what you do cancel your sub to teapot and just buy like a creative cloud license <laughs> for premiere pro Ugh. oh like five dollars a month See, look, no, it even no. made Teapot oh. cringe. It's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Here's, don't... here's the thing about Adobe. Oh. Adobe is a horrible company, and they should never be paid. The, I mean, eventually, I think what I'll probably move to is, don't they have one that's like $20 a month, and you get all of their software? 
No. No, no. they don't have settings. They have one that's like $150 a month and you get all of their software. Well, there was some package that was 20 a month. You got editing and a After Effects and uh, I don't know, a couple other things. Uh, um, you can get Photoshop and Lightroom, which Lightroom nobody uses because you can do all of that in Photoshop anyways. You get that for like 7 or $9 a month. And then After Effects CC is just absolute trash and it's bad. So, like, that doesn't count either. I don't know. Like, well, I, I don't know what it was, but in Canada it was twenty a month, and you got the editing software and a couple other things. Yeah, it was probably like Photoshop, Lightroom, and maybe like Premiere or something. Something, yeah, something like that. But anyway, that's what I figured I would eventually move to. Um, I don't know, but it's not really that important to me right now. Fair enough. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't really need anything uh, extreme just to do kind of basic YouTube videos, anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just going, yeah. You know, you're not doing some kind of fucking, not like making a fucking kind of some kind of documentary, are you? You know, you know. I mean, even if you were making a documentary, why would you even need Premiere? You know, Premiere is pretty heavy duty. You know, yeah. you're Power kind of director's making... got enough. Right, it's so... got infinite layers, and it's got uh, chroma key, and that's all you really need. Yeah, exactly. I mean, how many features yeah. do you need? How many? Pre yeah. You know, and I mean, Premiere's got a lot of features, but what, most what of them don't even use. So, yeah, I mean, so. what would be the advantage of Premiere over what you have now? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nothing. Really. Exactly. So you know, you, you know. I'm not tickets workshop. Wow. Harsh. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. Well, in fairness, even I, I, the end thing software I use is actually pretty simple, and it can do stuff like what tech it does. You know, I mean, all you have to Here, do is let move, me... move shit around on the screen. Oh yeah, you use ScreenFlow or like whatever it's called. Yeah, ScreenFlow. Here. Seventy all seventy right. bucks or something. Is what it costs. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. This software here, I'm pretty sure it's free. I think the only thing you have to pay for are codecs. And, like, I used this for a while. It's kind of weird, and, like, it does stuff that I don't like. But it's actually, like, pretty decent software. Okay. Like, I don't know how oh, much yeah. you have to pay for, like, a H.264 codec, but, like... Piracy you... is free, yeah, I know, but I'm yeah. not going to pirate software. I'm just not going to do it. Inks. Yeah. This is why you're always gonna be MMO Inks. I know. It's gonna be Brazil GW two. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Not that not that I'm any sort of metric at all for anything, but <laughs> oh, this is also cross platform too. It works on Linux. That's great. You could do it's anything. An RPM and a deb. You you could literally run that on anything. You could run it on a piece of spaghetti. It's cross platform. You could do it. Anything. Yeah. yeah. It's the last 10 hours of the 24-hour stream worth watching. Yes, Nico. Start right now. Yeah, go, go. Have a play Did you start getting delirious at some stage? Uh, it, it was kind of towards around 18 hours. I thought, oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> but then the, the last four hours was actually pretty easy. Okay, well, so like the last three through? hours. Did, what did you get through PvPE-wise? Okay. Like, okay. How far did you get? So I didn't realize how long personal story would take. So we did all of personal story. All of it. Wow. It took it yeah, took a, it took a very it long it took a long time. Then we did every yeah. dungeon in the game. Uh huh. And we did explorables too. Yeah, every path, every, every dungeon path. Okay. And we did all the raids and every fractal. Did you do all of HOT personal story? No, we didn't have time. Uh, okay. I, mean, I guess that's the fair, next twenty-four hour stream. You didn't miss At out what, either. At what point in the personal story did you just say, I'm not even paying attention to what's happening anymore, just pressing buttons? Did you... No, 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 no. Did you get past the hammer boss? <laughs> no. We wiped on the hammer boss, no. no. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I fought the hammer boss, actually, um, in the path I took. I remember the hammer Is that the one in the I'll winter be, area? I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be, no, oh. it's a human, like, thief storyline boss, like, grew up in the streets. Oh, okay. really? It's like a it's like a level twelve quest or something. Oh, oh maybe I did fight him then because we 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 took that path. Here Doesn't it start at level four, twenty now? Ten story. Ten, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. this is, this is a good point actually. So we did we did the Ara story, okay? Uh, and we killed Zaitan. We got him. We got him good, okay? But then it still said, oh, you need to find the first power core. But even though we found the first power core, so oh, you know that's probably fine. 
And then what happened? The story instance didn't complete, so it was completely broken. <laughs> oh, um, boy. And we would have had to do it again, but I didn't want to do it again, so I didn't. So, so you, you didn't, didn't actually finish it? it. Yeah. No, personal, my stuff. personal story was not completed. It was not completed in the end. Oh, because man. a raw story was broken, and I'm not doing it again. Uh, we look. And people are saying yeah. punished for skipping. We didn't actually skip, though. We didn't actually skip. We actually found the core and used it and everything. It just mm. broke. It, it just didn't work. Feels bad, man. Obviously, because teaches broken. you kids exploits are no good. Yeah, you don't Get profit off for exploits. Yeah. That's right. Get punished. Feels bad, man. Well, yeah. so you had five hours sleep now, and now you're. I'm back. Like Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. I'm back for tea time. Ready for another 24-hour tea time stream. 24-hour tea time? Is that what we're <laughs> no, going? No. Come no, on, I Ings. So much, I have so much work to do. I'm, I'm so far behind. It's ridiculous. 24-hour? And with my computer hour. not cooperating in the best of its ability. To the best of its ability. What are you working on? I can't say. <laughs> okay. All right. Soon. 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 Oh, I'm excited. Soon. But yeah, um, I would actually say soon. Yeah, we got some stuff coming up. Yeah, is it tomorrow or is it Tuesday? Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, because uh, U.S. Thanksgiving, and then everybody's favorite holiday, Trample Day, where they line up in front of stores and kill each other yeah. for ten percent off. For those Elmos. I'm actually for waiting for <laughs> Cyber Monday. I, I'm gonna. I'm hoping that this year it's Hatchimals Depot. Come on. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking sorry, dude. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I might get a new computer on Cyber Monday. I'm thinking about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good. Well, it's a good day to do it. And this is when you start okay. streaming again. Uh, oh. maybe yeah. Yeah. I mean, actually, I might. Oh man, I have a lot of thinking to do of what I'm gonna do when I move down to the states because apparently the the um, visa that we're ending up getting means I might not be able to work with it for until I get a green card. So I might be stuck not working in the States for a little while. Yeah, at least a yeah. couple months. They're uh, real fast at processing things, let me tell you. Yeah. So, so that, I don't know. If that is when you become rich on YouTube? And I guess so. I guess I'll just use my glowing personality and, and make people pay for it. Yeah. You're gonna Instead build, of giving it to you guys for free here on Tea Time, except Teapot Profiteers. You're going to build uh, a channel and you're going to make the plebs pay for it. That's right. That works. Yeah, I mean, everyone here on Tea Time is, is, is basically my slave. Um, these, <laughs> uh, these people are completely nice. subordinate to me. They have no free will of their own. Well, they do have free will, but not really, you know. And look at Brazil. Brazil's not even here. He's just a duck. Yeah. Oh, Planet. Oh, yeah. Planet has got a new PC as well because it was. Wait, birthday. what did I do? Oh, you said <laughs> what? You're a duck. He said. You're he said duck. duck. There's something coming through the window. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. I doubt I'll ever switch to another game to invest time similar to Guild Wars Two. What about Guild Wars Three? Yeah, I mean, I uh, do you, do you ever gaming, foresee? Really? Well, do you ever foresee hard. another MMO coming out that you would invest as much time into as Guild Wars 2 at this point in your life? Uh, maybe. Like, to switch to another MMO if it... I mean... No, after Guild Wars 2, I'm probably done with taking games seriously. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely could see myself getting hooked into another game. Uh, it hasn't happened, and I, believe me, I've tried any new MMO that's come out, but there, you know that you, at least for me, I know that I'm hooked when I play a beta, and I don't want to stop playing it. If I feel that, if I feel that addiction urge, then I know it's, I know it's time to invest, you know, I know it's right for me to jump into that game and invest more time, and I haven't felt that since Guild Wars 2 beta. Four years ago, so yeah, same here. Yeah, I think I, I, I it's possible, but it's not happen. Not happened yet. Guild Wars Three. I don't know. That's mm -hmm. that's. It's funny. I, I think really it's say. a lot more. I think it's a lot more rare than it used to be. The first time I played WoW, hooked. First time I played Rift, hooked. Swotor, as bad as I'd ended up, hooked. You know, then Guild Wars Two. So I don't know. There's, there was some other MMOs in the middle there that didn't hook me, but 
it's tougher and tougher. It's tougher and tougher to get hooked. You know, and I think part of that is because you're you you build a bias on what you expect from an MMO, and if it doesn't hit certain points that other MMOs already do, if it's not doing better than than those other MMOs, then it's just like not really appealing, right? Mm-hmm. Inks, um, do you play other games? Uh, a, a little bit, not a whole ton. Yeah, but I it's spent a lot be of time MMOs, in... right? Because that's your name. No, no. So... I mean, I play a lot of Fallout Four, and that's a single player game. Oh man! So I probably, I probably have like, I don't know, not nearly as many hours in Guild Wars Two, but I probably have like four hundred hours in Fallout Four. So do you have to change your name then? <laughs> change it to like RPG yeah. inks or yeah yeah scam no. a scam Ar- inks I'm, I'm just gonna take RPG shack from yeah. Alex and push oh. him out the victim he can be MMO Alex and you can be <laughs> RPG inks can do a trade uh, yeah. be pretty RPG good. shack has to do a series called shacking up Ooh, that's actually a that's actually a really good series name wow that's uh, wow. shacking up with MMO inks. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> checking up with someone, checking up with whatever. Hey, do we have anything planned for tomorrow when the patch goes out? Because I managed to wow. get off work. Well, I'm just gonna. Oh, run. you're off work. Um, I got, I, I visual got novel work. inks. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Teapot, are you streaming something? Or are you gonna be sleeping? Uh, well, I'm probably just gonna raid and then do the patch after that with right. the plebs. We'll just invade the new map. We'll probably just get a squad and just completely demolish everything on the map. That's what usually that's that's what happened last time. We just got everyone in well, a bunch of people in salt and just ran around in circles and killed everything. So where are we going? We're going north, right? We're, We're going, going north. The frozen uh, shiver is coming. Yeah, it's a bit above Frost Gorge Sound. That's the that's the section we're going. It's confirmed by that shaman. He knew the entire time. Yeah. By looking yeah. at the terrain, it's it's just above Drakkar Lake or whatever. Where the, like um, the, the champion farmers, where the champion farmers, you know, with the fish, yeah, going up, yeah, that's where we're going, and it's going to be cold, <laughs> to Vabby, yes. and there's going to be presumably Jormag. He's going to be going crazy. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, think we're going to see Jormag? Not yet. Uh, okay. I doubt it. Yeah, we haven't seen Primordial, yeah. so, so I don't know why we would see Jormag. They'll... You know what would be cool? Because I know in the trailer there was like a shot of a little outpost or something built with the. Claw of Jormang head sort of there, stuck in. Uh, it would be cool if that was actually Jormag and he, like, <laughs> fights people. Well, like, so the Claw of Jormag is a lot like Zaitan's dragons, like, to Quattle. Yeah. They all look the same, right? They're, yeah. you know, so even though Zaitan kind of didn't look anything like his dragons, so I imagine that Jormag won't look anything like uh, mm. his claws. The other thing too is they, you know, the Norn have that giant tooth. Yeah. So it would lead you to believe a tooth that size. Jormag's a bit of a big boy. Jormag is quite large, possibly bigger than any other dragon we've seen, except I guess Mordromoth, who was the entire jungle, and where we were just, you know, oh, yeah. well, six kicks on his back while we were running around or whatever. Yeah. We had to, we had to get into his mind. But the yeah. the tooth, <laughs> is it really Jormag's tooth, the one there? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. So, but that's not made of ice. That's like an actual tooth. Yeah. Right. So, but the claw drum mag is made of ice, isn't he? No. I mean, he's sure? he's got ice parts, I guess, probably. Mm-hmm. But he's really? a dragon. Which which part? Show me on the dragon plushie. <laughs> which part? <laughs> <are on? laughs> I wish I had a dragon plushie because that would Icy that would be touch. funny. Oh, drum mag! I want to see what he looks like. I thought he was all made of ice. No, I guess isn't not. he just all blue and scaly kind of? Yeah, he's just crystals and yeah. ice crystals. Ice crystals, yeah. Yeah, he's he's a uh, he's made of ice. Yeah, he's totally just made of ice. Is he then? And his teeth are all ice. It's like not really yeah. a dragon, but instead a magical recreation of a dragon in ice. Really? Is that what it says on the wiki? No, it doesn't say that on the wiki. It's something I just made up right now. But that's what it looks like. Oh, okay. The claw of Jormag is a corpse of a dragon, iced so much all the exterior is ice. Well, there we go. Well, that's what Mithrin says. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, look at this here. We'll put it in... Because uh... that's totally all ice. So in reality, are you thinking that, like, 
uh, someone just covered him with water and then it froze over. And in reality, the, the dragon's actually much smaller than the claw of Dormag. He just looks menacing because he's bulked up with all the ice. But sure, really I mean, just, he like, could just little... be made of ice. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Huh. Okay. What does that so, have any? What does that have relevance to the tooth? Though? I don't well, know. <laughs> I guess. I guess my question is: How do we bring this back? Is, is Jormag also going to be made of ice? But he. But I guess not because he has a tooth. He has that tooth. isn't ice. He has a tooth. It's uh, he bad. used to have a tooth that is not ice. <laughs> so now he's all gums. Yeah. So is he also going to be? And that tooth is huge, much bigger than claw of Jormag's teeth. Yeah. This is true. So yeah. what is this picture? What the heck? It's got to be fan art, obviously. Which one? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't what know. Is th what is this? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. That's a uh, crystal dragon of some sort. That's Call of Jormag concept art? That's is a it? nice little guy. Well, they did a good it's... job taking it from that to... Yeah. <laughs> so, a little bit abstract. It looks like somebody got a seahorse and just wrapped a rubber band around its nose. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. What the... What? It, what is that? He looks happy. It's yeah, too it's, friendly. It's, it's a nice <laughs> I don't even day. know where its face is. <laughs> it's at the end of the nose. The eyeball. <laughs> that's nice the clove... Thing. That's the happy clove Jormag. Yeah, clove Jormag. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Sean. Uh, Mordremoth is just really small. You saw him in the dream. He's really, really yeah. small. Yeah. But he's just bulked up with lots of trees. Exactly. But he's... his his mouth is huge. He, he's got a huge mouth. He does have a pretty big just mouth. Just like Trump. Big tongue. <laughs> he's like Trump. He has a pretty big mouth. <laughs> but very small hands. Tiny hands. Yeah. Tiny hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you never even see the hand of Mordremoth. That's, that's true, actually. Maybe he doesn't have any. That's why he's so angry, because he hasn't got any hands. Uh, Think how annoying it would be not to have hands. Mm -hmm. Or arms. I don't have hands. Rings. You don't have hands? Do you just do everything yeah. with your feet? Mm-hmm. Mm. My left foot mm -hmm. did movie. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But, I mean, where, where were we... Where are we going with this? I don't this? know where we're going with this. Just, just out of interest, the Who two... started oh, talking yeah, about and it, and it, ask, And it's ice? What's he gonna look What's Jormag going to look like? Because if he's got real teeth, unlike Claw of Jormag's, he's got real teeth, and those are already so big. If Jormag's also going to be bulked up with ice, he's probably going to be huge. Or is he just going to be a regular dragon who happens to be You know, the, dra the, the whole dragon thing worries me because they haven't been able to do any of the dragons real justice. Mm. Um, even Zaitan, yeah. like... Yeah. Zaitan looking is, at Zaitan. He looks really awesome. awesome. He look, <laughs> I, so yeah, so. I don't know. I, don't know. Zaitan. I saw him again in in the a raw story just just the other just the other day, and he does look awesome actually. He's not that it, you'd expect him to be yeah. kind of bigger, but yeah. he actually is really he's, fucking he's cool. The, he's the yeah. baby of the group, I guess. Yeah, I don't baby. know. I, I I don't know how they can do the dragons real justice in proper scale. Well, they could do it, See? but then how would you ever go about fighting it? That's the issue, right? Because then you end up with well, maybe, Zaitan. Yeah? Maybe the story Yeah, then is you would end up with the Twisted Marionette, to. or Zera, where there's just a model that's really cool that flies around, but you don't do anything to it. Yeah, mm. because it's I difficult to <laughs> actually fight something that big. Yeah. With, with Guild Wars 2's engine, yes. Well, it's not really the engine, it's just that would make even sense. Because if you're just tickling a giant thing, how you just your immersion is shattered when it, it dies, because you realistically wouldn't do anything to him. We need mechas, yeah. We need giant uh, mechs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if by the size of that tooth, guys, he's pretty fucking big. Okay, he's mm -hmm. maybe he's just a big snowstorm that's got a mouth. Is he's, he's, he's an avalanche with teeth in. Yeah, and the mouth of Mortal I mean, it seems like we're just getting bigger and bigger because the mouth of Mortemoth, even though Mortemoth himself was tiny, I just put a link, the mouth of Mortemoth was, was bigger than Zaitan. <laughs> that was just Mortemoth's mind. It's not his. He had a tiny mind. That's all, he had a tiny he mind, had a but tiny a very mind. big mind. Yeah. Yeah, but see, this this mouth, the mouth of Mortemoth, so it's just... It's just a little head, and then the stick. It's, it's just a big head. head. A his head's bigger than... <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't have wings. Yeah, his mouth is bigger than Zaitan's head, I guess, but... 
I don't know. Still. Yeah. And it's very long. We don't know how long it is, really. It's true. Yeah, I have that same problem, too. Yeah. You, you don't know? <laughs> You've never checked. <laughs> It just changes all the time. I've never yeah. seen it before. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Enter Jormag, Yachigasm. Mm -hmm. um, Shadow of the Colossus be... showed the world how fighting giants is done right. That's correct. You just jump on a weak spot and get him. You, you get have him to good. climb on it. You, have you to gotta climb it like on the dragon. dragon. You have to make it organic. So there's a big lake, apparently, above us. Can yeah, it's that? one of the Great Lakes, right? That's right. I think it's eerie. Um, <laughs> and But just looking, just the fact that it's so cold up there, a lot of it's going to be frozen, right? It's going to be sort of like the Jade Sea. Yeah, but there's also going to be yeah. underwater combat, so prepare for that. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they had oh, some yeah, underwater combat. We, we, got, we got, a, got a, bit of a bit of an underwater combat there. Uh, a bit, bit of a teaser, you know. Yeah. Mm. That'll be interesting. I, I'm gonna have to make sure that my characters actually have underwater weapons that I've bought that are level eighty exotics instead of I don't know whatever I started with. Because I think that I've leveled up a lot of characters and not changed the underwater weapon the entire time. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. Now you so you're need, not you've, alone. You've got another video series now. You need boots, bad underwater builds. Oh, that's a very good point. There are, like, in every class, I think there's, like, one trait that, <laughs> that does anything to underwater weapons, right? Yeah. I think a warrior's got a spear trait, kind of like the greatsword, uh, uh, my generation one. Yeah. It's that's got, the only thing I can it's think got, of. Does it have damage? It has a damage modifier and cooldown reduction in warrior or something? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, why would you do that? Unless they had an underwater raid, then. Uh... <laughs> ah, incoming. Underwater raid. Oh, everybody will be imagine mad. Imagine that. So Chris everybody will be mad because they, so, they don't have the necessary uh, yeah. gear to do the underwater raid. <laughs> so, so Crystal yeah. Reed said there's going to be no... That was such a fucking plot twist. There's going to be no escort event or anything like that. There's going to be no events in the next raid wing, but plot twist, the whole raid wing's underwater. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my Wait. God. That would be such a good troll. That would be fantastic. That would actually be a really good troll. Uh-huh. Our wells can be cast underwater, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cron, no Chronomancer wells. <laughs> <laughs> Well, getting them placed properly underwater, I don't know. Oh, and also, no tides of time. Yeah, it'll be yeah, great. you can't do, like, half the stuff underwater. It'll, it'll be a whole new game. Fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, new new meta. Game. Underwater meta. It, Here it, we come. It, gets, it always gets weird underwater. All underwater combat gets it's pretty weird. It mm -hmm. just doesn't really work as intended. Un I'll take underwater over a jumping puzzle raid. I mean, no, yeah. I want a, a jumping puzzle. puzzle. Too. No, no, the, ra you don't. the whole raid is a jumping puzzle. <laughs> yeah, just like, uh, and then yeah, to to deal DPS, to do DPS, you have to like jump on buttons or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta the, the, in time with music. The boss is the yeah, jumping no, puzzle. See, that's, that's no, that's correct because you you don't have to have a good gear, or a good build to do damage to the boss. You just exactly. jump. Up buttons you jump mm. on them yeah and that that removes the elitism of having to do dps rotation it's all of the elitism yes. every everything you do to do damage all it does is you just interact with like a turret or something and shoot the boss just like the zaitan fight yeah. all right, just, yeah. just make the zaitan fight a raid it's perfect yeah. it remo like it, make, I makes wish it, it was skill based right there's no elitism involved it's all skill based now just like guild wars 2 is meant to be but I mean, completely skill based. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, so what do we think about this? Uh, Crystal had a couple of comments, not only just about the there's not going to be any event style bosses, which good. Do we know when the next race is coming out? No, we don't know. No. Okay, I, I don't uh, know. but the way she's the way she's talking about it sounds like sooner rather than later 
I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. But they talked about tears and and uh, how they don't really have any. They don't really. They don't really have any plans to do a tier system for raids. It seems to be working out around the same timeline that I thought it was going to be before that new story, uh, Living World story. Now between um, Halloween and Christmas, Christmas is going to come out after this probably, and then a raid in January, which is what I thought it was going to be. They'll Maybe. probably demo it at Pack South. The raid? Uh, really? They don't demo raids yeah. usually, do they? Sure, they do. They could have a trailer or something running, but mm. <laughs> I don't know. Are they gonna like? Are they gonna make the raid super easy just for the demo so that people can? I mean, they could. I, I, Speaking I of know. trailers, they, they don't have that. No, they can't do that. There, yeah. there, there, there's been a there's been a wrench thrown in the in the gears because the software for the trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a game update and it broke it, and the guy is away. So, what? what are you talking about? The Machinima Studio. Did well, you see? The, did you not didn't... see anything we did, Boots? No, I didn't. Oh my god! What did you guys right. do? Wow! I'll just link it in chat. It's fine. It's pretty good. Hey, it's dead channel good. confirmed. Yeah, mm-hmm. no one's watching. Feels bad, man. Brazil yeah. Spiritville trailer is really good. See, yummy nose. He wants that yummy, yummy sauce. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I did see this. I did see this. It was you and Zach collaboration or something, right? Yes. Yeah. So how did so, you get the how did you get the fly through? Hacks. It unlocks the camera and lets you control it. What unlocks the camera? The program. Oh. Uh-oh. That sounds against rules of some kind. I mean. I guess <laughs> it like it, it doesn't work in PvP or anything like that, as far as I'm aware. But I mean, it, it made for a cool video. Yeah, yeah exactly. That that was that's like the whole point of like why it exists to use it for like videos and stuff, which is what we were using it for. But there was a game update last week with just twenty one thousand files that no one knows what they were for some and, reason, and it and was it to broke. prevent you from doing this. Yeah, they're on to because we needed to get the trailer finished, and we can't now. It's great how seamless you made it as well. I, yeah, it's not, all the it's, fights. It's very irritating because it's not as seamless it as it was appear. But well, I mean, it appears to be. Yeah, right? I I can't do anything about it. I spent hours getting it, like just because of the way my PC renders and like the frame rate so poor. My computer sucks. Like, I couldn't actually get it frame perfect. Time to get a new setup. Yeah, no, I am. That's why I got another job. And I'm saving to do that. Everyone's getting a new setup. I should get a new setup. I'm not getting a new setup. I want to, but... Tipa, don't you have, like, the best possible setup ever right now anyway? I have a pretty good setup, yeah. (laughs) You have like two Titan X's or I, something. I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to get another setup. Not yet. Yeah. You need new internet though. I do. My internet is terrible. Mhm. But I can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. I think it's really interesting the way they're going about this with the raids. We can bring this back to reality. Is that it seems like they're just gonna they're gonna put easier bosses in, and then like the last boss is really hard. Well, so, she like, had she had said something to the effect of the first boss. Would be like warm up a bo- uh, the easy boss or an easier Veil boss Guardian. that would. Well, no, like, see, I don't know. That's debatable, right? I think Veil Guardian is not too bad. Other people would say he is one of the more challenging bosses, right? Yeah, I, I would probably say if you're new to raiding, Veil Guardian is pretty punishing, actually. Uh, especially but if, if you're... you've never had to tank anything before, and if you screw that up, you just fail. Yeah, it's it's the one of the I think there's only like two bosses where the tanking is really important, and that's one of them. Well, I just uh, I don't know I I just hope that I, I don't have a problem with them having like an easier boss as long as the other two are, and, and apparently the the a boss in the next wing, probably the final boss, is going to be more difficult than Matthias, which. 
depending so on how you view Matthias, yeah. may, may or may not mean a whole lot to you, right? So yeah. Well, it seems like they think Matthias I, is the hardest boss in the game. Yeah, and they're wrong about that because Matthias is just the most poorly designed boss in all of the raids. Wrong. Is it really? What's wrong with it? <laughs> uh, what, 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 is, what is wrong with Matthias? Let's go. Come on. Let's, right, let's, here, let's go. You, got, you think you can take got, me one, uh, two, three, Brazil? No, yeah, I think I can actually. Okay. So uh, I'll give you one more round. <laughs> so we've got we've got a software developer here. We have someone with a master's in chemistry. And we have an engineer. Master's and we engineer. have Yeah, we, we have someone who just like sits at his desk and works at a restaurant. And somehow I've come to the right conclusion, but none of you have. <laughs> So that really speaks volumes about my raw intelligence and capacity. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> compared to all of yours, yeah. Because it's Matthias street smarts. Street is, smarts is a poorly designed boss. The Matthias's pathing and tracking and aggro would be fine if the game was capable of even housing something like that. If it was capable of having a smooth path and having something that didn't just like stop path stop keyboard turn attack stop path keyboard turn like then i don't know that aggro system could work for matthias but it's bad i'll give you his, like, his, his aggro is wonky his aggro is wonky i'll give bad. you that and the whole fight is just like it, it's designed just to overwhelm people with like lots of stupid things well, with mechanics. Yeah, but, like, the mechanics are just, like, run around, spread out. Oh, don't move because now it's raining and you have a debuff. And there are okay. fire tornadoes that track around and knock you. Like, I don't know. Isn't, isn't that all bosses? It's, no, because it's just RNG. Uh, like, but, or, uh, the, every, you can I control just... pretty much everything in the first fight, though. No, you can't. You can though. I mean, I guess, <laughs> you, I guess you, you, you can. I've, you can. I've only played Matthias once, so I'm not. I'm not a. There's a whole. There's, there's a bunch of. I mean, the visual noise is annoying. That's true. But you, there are ways you can deal with it. So you can. You can either not move at all until you need to, or you can move constantly until you get uh, ten stacks and just stop moving and then just continue moving again. There's ways you can deal with it. And, and the, the the thing with the aggro is if you only. Get punished if you're executing sure. the fight wrong, right? This is, that's no, no, when no. you get punished. The, the, the problem is that it's not difficult. The problem is that it's meant to seem difficult because it just throws lots of stuff at you, and the things that it throws at you are not difficult. Yeah, no, I kind of get what you're okay. saying, but in some that. ways that makes it an interesting fight because it's designed to throw you off your game by by appearing. To uh, to make things really hectic and intense by the end of the fight, so even though they're easily avoidable mechanics, unless you're like a seasoned raider, you're going to start panicking and you're going to fail. So that's why, like Teapot, you keep on saying that Matthias is very easy sometimes to do with like nine or eight or seven players instead of the full right. ten because those three people die and it doesn't screw things up anymore. The heck, the people who who panic. In that situation, as long as, as long as your reflectors don't die, yeah, yeah, it's, it, well, it's just a fight that has a lot of. You have the capacity to wipe the raid for everyone very effectively and very easily, like like in uh, like sloth as well, right? There there are a lot of things you can do on those bosses where you can instantly ruin the raid immediately, and you just have to reset it. If you yeah, you, you know, if you put a, a one of those bombs right in the middle, that is a disaster, right, for the raid. It's, it's terrible. If you run into people when you have the circles, you're going to kill people and ruin everything. And uh, this is the kind of thing I kind of like about Matthias, actually. It, it really has the potential just to snowball out of control because you you go down, there's people reviving, then he hadoukens all of you, and then you're all dead. Uh, it, it's just, it, it punishes you for being bad at the game, and that's exactly how it should be. Yeah, but, but it does could, that, and it's just bad at it. Like, but you can no, it's mitigate really good it. At being bad at it. I don't know why you, you think it's bad. I mean, I don't know that it's the most difficult fight in the raid, but I still think it's a the good thing, encounter. The thing that makes me mad about it more than anything is the aggro and the pathing. I hate that. It's clunky. It's bad. Sure, I, but you I, like Zara. Like, you that, like Zara. That, 
Zara, yes, what about Zara's that popping? happens for like two seconds out of the whole thing. Like when you fly onto the main platform, is an it's issue. like the only time it happens. Pathing Unless for some reason continue. you're using like one weapon that has less toughness than the other set, and so you can only stay on one teapot. Mm -hmm. But then if you look at Zara, the difficult thing in Zara is gliding. I mean, as long as you don't fail the gliding part, mechanically, I don't know. Not really that. Not really that. Well, it, it, you don't even. Challenging. You know, at the end of the day, you don't even need. If you're if you're not feeling confident with gliding, I'd recommend you just do it without leyline gliding at all. Thing is, you can do that if you just stand on the edges of the platform, and then you rifle jump to the platform that you go to after the main platform and after the first phase. Turns out you don't need leyline gliding at I'm, all. I'm, I'm sure did that's you not actually intended. Do that? Yes, you can do. I did Zara without leyline gliding on Power NG. <laughs> What? So you can also do it if you bug out and just fly. <laughs> but you, you, how, did you have, how did you have the cooldown up every single time? What do you mean? How did you have jump shot up to go from each platform to oh, no, each no, platform? No, 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 that's not how it works. So uh, you stand on the very, very edge of the first Zera platform, and the AoE doesn't hurt you. <laughs> you can kind of stand out of its range. Oh, and you just jump to the last yeah. one. Yeah, and then you wait till they do the Bloodstone Shards with nine people, okay? And then I glide to the middle, get teleported up, okay? And then uh, after 50%, I, can, I did jump shot onto the platform where the first mini little shard spawns. You stand on the edge, out of the AoE, and just wait for so everyone to come back. Here. Yeah, and then just wait for everyone to come back. Here we go. Oh, wow. Let's, uh, yeah. So the <laughs> look at this uh, literal exploits, but the hacks though. Yeah, but the hacks though. Yeah, and so yeah, you don't need leyline gliding. There we go. I, you know, I, wow, I don't know. People are saying that wing one was the only good wing. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true mm, at all. I understand why, and I agree with it to a degree. It, I, I just, I don't, I think that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think all the wings have particular spots that could use improvements, but I think they all have their merits as well. Uh, wing one, I kind of expected a little bit more out of Wing 3, but I don't think it's that terrible either. I like how, uh, as they got to Wing 3, the uh, thematic design of the bosses got cooler. Like, I don't know about uh, the mechanics yeah. and all. I haven't played keep that much. Construct. But, it's good. but yeah, Keep Construct was a cool... But uh, the Zera fight, it's really impressive. The way, you know, where you are. And uh, also even, even the encounters in the, in the Labyrinth. Even though the Labyrinth is, like, annoying as hell to do, it's still really cool to look at. Mm, yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, Wing 3 is I really kind of cool. agree. I think Wing 2 is probably my favorite of the three. Wing Wrong. 3 is probably my least favorite, Wrong. but Wrong. I still don't think it's that bad. Wrong. No, I really like Sloth and I like Matthias. I like both well, those fights. Yeah, that's okay. You're wrong. So like, <laughs> I'm sorry. not. I'm not wrong. You I don't are. particularly love Gorsival, and you just bypass most of his shit now anyway. And I'm not a... Sabbath is not too bad, but I'm not a big fan of stationary bosses, even though she spins in a circle and jumps up and down, and you got to go to platforms. Um, and Veil Guardian's okay, but I like Sloth and Matthias better than than the other three. Yeah. Hmm. I think, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like Trio, though. Trio's like the big downer of that, and it's right in the middle of the wing, and bleh. <laughs> yeah, Trio seems a little bit lame. I think I'd be torn between... Wing one and wing two. I do like keep construct though. Um, I think Zara is kind of a. Uh, I kind of like Zara as a as a concept, but I feel, I feel like I'm kind of traumatized because of how buggy it was when we tried to do it first. It was it was just it was it was fucking rough, man. I, oh. Yeah, there's just uh, Zara continues to this day to just be. I don't know what it is, just a thorn in my side. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's just a fight where a lot can go wrong and instantly screw you, and it's really long. So, and typically things only go wrong in the la the very very last section as well, right? Is it the fight is very very easy up until the last twenty percent even, right? Of Zera, and, and that's mm. that's kind of not not that rewarding because you you have to put in a lot of work every time, and then you just miserably fail uh, right. towards the end. 
Where I, I think you could, I guess you could kind of say that of Matthias as well, right? Though it only the shit really only goes down in the last forty percent. As, the thing this. about like an, another thing about Matthias is like there's not really a rhythm to it. Like Zara, there's a rhythm, and like you can anticipate it. And like I don't know. I guess to Matthias, maybe to a degree. Well, he has his phases. You know that. Yeah, he's going and to move he to cycles whatever. through them every thirty seconds and whatever. Blah blah blah. But like I'm not a fan of like being in different spots every single time that it happens. I like right. being able to it's like learn the rhythm and go into it. Matthias is I don't know. Matthias is like playing jazz music. Mm. Yeah. I, think so that's I, a, I think that's the perfect wait, so, kind of boss though for Guild Wars 2. Like, so then when when Crystal Reed says, you know, uh if you thought Matthias was tough and I assume, you know, she means like all the mechanics. Um, do you think then that whatever they're talking about is going to be super mechanic heavy? Difficult to, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably I, well, it's going to be uh, hard to uh, decipher what you're supposed to do for a while. I think it's going to be really interesting to see the way um, uh, they go in the, with the difficulty, right? Because you know you can make a DPS check or you can put mechanics in. Well, we've seen, uh, and they don't like DPS this, checks. This sort of wraps into the new fractal, but we've seen footage of the new one of the new fractal bosses in Nightmare, mm. and there's just <laughs> there's a whole it's bunch of different orbs going circles. everywhere. Your character has a cone, and the characters apparently don't want to face each other because they all spin in a different direction, and uh, there's just crap flying all over your screen. So. I really wouldn't you know, be surprised if the new Fractal was kind of raid raid demo, like almost raid demo, like new tech they've created. Yeah, yeah, right, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's there's new tech that they introduced a long time ago that I wish they'd put in raids with like uh, the waves that you jump over. They haven't put that back into things yet. Uh, I'm I I anticipate probably they're gonna do that eventually, right? Like maybe this new boss that's harder than Matthias is gonna be like Matthias, and that. As the fight goes along, it introduces more and more mechanics, and then shoves it all in your face in the end. Maybe they'll do that uh, with this last one, with uh, with jumping as well. You have to jump. Well, over like things. the thing about the wave that you jump over is that it's horribly desynced from like when stuff actually happens. Yeah, it can be. Like it's the same thing with like the mobs that have the hammer with like the broken up AOE lines. Mm. Like those hit like before the animation is finished. Yeah, and like the sometimes. the jump rings, like those hit before the the model gets to you. Whoa! Well, doesn't so, know like, how just... close he is to figuring out the bat last boss. Who is this person? I don't know. Wait, what? What? No idea. I don't even know what that means. Inside information. Is this inside information? The fuck. We're trolling us. Yeah, probably trolling us. In fairness. <laughs> probably. Uh... Huh. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, what was I talking about before, though? Oh yeah, just visually, though, I would say that I like that they're definitely. It seems like overall in the game they're starting to get to more epic things. Like uh, the Zera fight is infinitely more epic than uh, the first raid wing, and it's not uh, than the first raid wing. The first raid wing is the best content they've ever created in the game. Visually, everything Lee. looks really good. Actually, the first raid wing does look really nice. Actually, all the entire every raid environment looks fucking great, though. I I don't think I'll ever enjoy content in a video game other than Fuda Skyrim mods more <laughs> than I have Wing One and Guild Wars Two. Well, oh, so, what is it about Wing One that is better it's... than everything else? You go in and you look over to the wall at the left and you feel like something's happening over there and it's probably pretty bad. Mm. And you feel kind of hopeless, but like driven to like pull through it and you read the notes and you're like, oh man, this is messed up. And like there's it really like hooks your curiosity really well. And then like they hit a lot of neat things around like you see the ghosts and like the ghosts are like frightened but they're just stuck in like this fight or flight response and sometimes it's both at the same time when you're like out running them and then you have stuff like Gorsaval you figure out like what Gorsaval is 
you like look at the cemetery, yeah, you see all the like bones in the pit around his arena below, right? Um, and then like I, I think probably the best thing they did out of that whole wing. It's really subtle, but when you see the arsonist fighting the ghost right after you glide down off his platform to go like into the tree fort, like yeah. that's my favorite thing because yeah, no, I, I agree with you, Brazil. It's definitely enemies. it's yeah. definitely compelling. It definitely draws you in and it's very right. interesting. But I'm not saying that it's not that. I'm just saying that uh, it really ramps up as a raid. Mm. visually when you get to Zera and when you get to the labyrinth because it's just very epic compared to the 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 first wing yeah. it's not it's it's not i'm not saying it's more compelling but it's definitely more epic uh just like i think the mordremoth mouth of mordremoth fight not the inside the brain mordremoth fight that's kind of that one kinda, sucks yeah but the mouth of mordremoth fight i find to be uh, maybe not the seven the 23rd time you do it because you're trying to find, get leadership runes <laughs> But but it, it is very <laughs> epic compared to, in in my opinion, definitely compared to what they were creating early in the game with the Zaitan fight, for example. Uh, the Zaitan fight, even though Zaitan looks amazing, the fight itself is is awful. We all know that. But but more than that, uh, the staging of it's not so great. I mean, the idea of having dragons flying around a ship as you're moving along and trying to get deeper and deeper into Zaitan's lair. Uh, is is a great idea. It's a great idea, and it should be visually amazing. But it's not really because there's no. Well, it, it's unfinished. It's unfinished, and there's no feeling of real motion on that ship. You're, it feels like you're, even though the ship technically is moving, I guess it it feels stationary the whole time. It doesn't feel like you're advancing. It just feels like you're waiting for things to come to you, which is kind of strange. So, so yeah, I think I think as a whole, the game is definitely. In upping the scale of epicness and is doing a good job of that. Yeah, I think Boots is right. Yeah. And Zera, if if nothing else, just thematically, it's a great fight because you 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 know you got all these platforms. You have the giant construct that's kind of involved, sort of, and you 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 have to move around. I think that kind of actual mobility, having the boss affect the environment, is really really cool. And I, I hopefully they can deliver it in the next raid wing, and it will actually work first time, and there won't be any difficulties with taking it from the uh you know the uh development client and bringing it to the the actual live ones because that did seem to what happened last time there was some stuff lost in translation that broke it uh but you know that that sort of thing is actually really cool i think uh, and there is that capacity that the guild wars 2 uh, engine has right you have gliding you have this ability to have a very dynamic mobile combat and i think that's probably something we will actually see yeah, Subi doesn't want gliding. <laughs> no more. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually, yeah, uh, you know, QT they would have they would have got uh, Zero down a lot quicker, but that was actually the hard, the, the the actual gliding was harder than uh, the boss for QT. They had to, you know? they had to yeah, stop. they didn't they... figure out power in G. <laughs> <laughs> they had to, they had to stop I, yeah. the raid so everybody could practice gliding. I, I'm quite surprised happened? no one realized you could do that um, in testing, right? I'm just, I'm not. You just stand at the uh, end. I'm, sadly, I'm not, I'm not either. <laughs> but I, I, I what know. does surprise me what so does toxic. surprise me is that it took us this long to figure it out well I mean I, I just we just assumed you couldn't do that right I mean <laughs> exactly exactly but uh, there that, you go. Inks, I just realized we're wearing the same shirt Yes, we are. Oh my goodness, well, that's a bit that's a bit interesting. We got got some actual inside Absolutely. information going on here. Look at this. Hope you oh, like special that, action yeah. keys in the new wing. But that's not exactly a difficult prediction, is it? There's always special action keys. Who is this guy? Mali. Sounds it's like a net Paul. It's <laughs> oh, arena net Paul alt account. I knew it. I knew it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. No, I, I don't know. I fucking read it. Uh, when did quick. when did Wing Three release? In July, was it? Was it July? Yeah. Uh, right. So it's been four months now. Most yeah, but, but remember, though, that was to complete an entire raid. Like, that was the last wing in right. the raid. So, yeah. so there will be a pause between raid one and raid two. Not not like there's a pause between the wings of a single raid. They're waiting for legendary armor to be finished. I actually think this is actually a very real possibility. Someone um, Maybe. 
I think I talked about this on a, on some other random stream, but I actually think this could be a very real possibility now. And that you know that's yeah. fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't we'll... re I don't really have a problem with that. Uh, they, they may well be going to bundle legendary armor with the next raid wing, and that's why we're having a little bit more of a delay. Could be. How many bosses do you want in the next in the new wing? I assume there's going to be three. Yeah, but I, I would love more than three. I'm not opposed. <laughs> yeah. Four, five, five. six, <laughs> seven, eight, and nine. Another, one. <laughs> another huffer. The new wing will come up before legendary armor. Right. All right, Mister. We're gonna see if your uh, inside information is right. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because, like, you're probably going to need the new wing for the next bit of Legendary Armor. So well, that means that you probably you need more... the whole new raid for red Legendary they'll Armor. Give you I'll more... give you one more wing. All right. We, right, we actually yeah. we got some predictions kind of going in chat. So, right. So, according to inside information, the new wing will come out before Legendary Armor, and there will be four bosses, is basically what's happening here. From our no, Twitch he's just chat saying it's a pretty info. good guess. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it's 4.2 bosses. 4.2 bosses? Yeah. Yeah, like, uh... I don't I know why, I no I don't know why somebody that. stopped that, Marty. No, I didn't tell my pug story yet. I'll tell it in a minute. Oh, tell, I want to hear the pug story. It's... I have a pug story. Pugs can be brutal. Pugs can be pretty brutal, let's pugs, just say. What happened, Inks? What happened? Tell us. So, pug I, story. I started playing Warrior this week, and I got involved in, a, in an NA pug that they, they wanted to nine-man all the bosses. So, I don't know why, but I was like, sure, what the heck. Um, because of work and other real-life stuff, I've been playing much later at night. So, not a whole lot to choose from when it's that late for who you're going to raid with. You should switch to uh, whatever... Everybody need you are sleeping when, when I'm usually doing this. <laughs> <laughs> or most of them. So anyway, uh, they wanted to have four elementalists because that's, that's the best comp, guys. It's the best thing to do. Um, but every time an elementalist died, they were auto-kicking them from the raid. No. So, yes, they were. We probably Every time went through, they died. We probably went through ten or eleven elementalists before <laughs> oh we we cleared the second raid wing. Oh, and were they were God. they saying like don't res them or no what? no no they it was just like they kept saying look if you have a survivability problem a dead Ellie does zero DPS that's what the raid leader oh, kept saying. Oh, that's dead so DPS. Dead <laughs> DPS is no DPS. Dead DPS is no so DPS. One of them died like fairly early on Veil Guardian. Instant kick. So we eight man Veil Guardian because they kicked the Ellie in the middle of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a new one for Gorsival. Gorsival went surprisingly okay, believe it or not. Then another one died at Sabatha. Kicked that one. It, they were just oh my God. Two of them died at Slothosaur, kicked both of them at the same time. Oh my god. What <laughs> the, like the raid is. took forever. It but and they no weren't sort of anybody else. else. They weren't kicking the druids. They weren't kicking me. <laughs> they weren't they weren't kicking any of the other classes, just the Ellies. If you can't survive on an Ellie and do max DPS, you're out of the group. <laughs> That's uh, that's right, row of lie. That that's why you run Sentinels gear as an alley, so that you could. Do, do you know? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah, do you know what that's in reference enough. to? Do you know that's in reference to boots? I heard about this. I did. Yeah. But say it again. So, I want to hear this. But the, the but the yeah. hacks though. But those but those hacks though. So, uh, we were we were doing Matthias. You know, we're just we're just having a great time, and suddenly so, suddenly so I, I I get this I get this message in Discord, and someone tells me. This elementalist is eighteen thousand HP. Says, oh well, I mean, obviously there is no way to actually. It's just a very good guess. Obviously, there is there is no way you could know this. There's no kind of very elitist gear checking software hey, who, that who, people who have made that? into the game. I, I have no idea that? who who could have told me that. Anyone could have told me that. There, the, the actual funny story is there was like three people in the group all running this hack. Uh, but never mind. Yeah, they, they knew it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a, there's an actual hack. Yeah, basically, there's a hack. Oh, okay. Okay, the, don't the, tell me about it. I don't the, want to hear. All right. I, I don't know. There is basically no difference between kind of saying, haha, you could never know, and saying, yeah, there is a hack, right? It's kind of... 
it's it's alluding to the same thing. But yeah, there is a hack that you can do gear check now with. Oh no! Yep. Oh, that's bad news. <laughs> the, oh, uh, but yeah, we would you know we would we would do we would do a casual casual Matthias casual Matthias, and this guy was you know oh I uh, hey man you know hey hey guys I uh, you know I run uh, I was just running these these trinkets just for Matthias so I can survive. Uh, and he was he was running Sentinels gear because it's the only way you can get 18k HP with just trinkets. It was just a, a bit of a a bit of a clown fiesta. Uh, wow! And then when when we you know obviously we were a little bit upset because I I don't I'm just gonna give you guys some tips here. I'm just gonna give you guys some tips. Fucking Sentinels gear doesn't do any damage. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Vitality, toughness, power is is not. It's not good for raiding, okay? And the thing is, it doesn't. But the base power eat... is already a thousand. That's you're only going to do half damage, right? Well, yeah. But the thing Dude, is, though, if you look at Sky. It it doesn't even help, right? Because you're still going to get one hit by everything, even in Sentinel's gear. That's the thing. Yeah. Like on Matthias, right? His Hadouken still bops you instantly. It, it, it just doesn't seem. I don't know. But anyway, and then we get to escort event. And then the epic quote happened because he started running Marauder gear, and the thief was running Marauder gear as well. Because I, I don't know why. I Vitality. Why do people love Vitality so much? Seriously, let's be real here. Why do people like Vitality? And then we get onto the towers, and he says, "But the hacks, though. But the hacks, though." And then it's just you know what the fuck is this? That what a great quote. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, there there is. I yeah. It turns out that it's all stored. Uh, client side, everyone's gear is all sort of client side. How about that? Who'd, who'd have thunk it? Um, there you go. And people have have actually just basically hacked this shit. And there we go. Oh boy. Mm. Is there, that, is are, that... there, there are programs that let you read other people's DPS too, which is just yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like gear checking, gear checking is one thing, and I then like... A, just... I feel a, a wave coming on. <laughs> uh, the wave. Yeah. The, the big problem is that this is probably going to going to become very common this being used, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh and this particular variant should be detectable if arena actually decide to go after it because of what it actually does. Uh but why I it, why do you think it would be terrible? Terrible. I don't know, yeah, dete yeah. detectable or oh, someone oh, saying oh, terrible. Oh. Okay. It'd be de terrible. Yeah. The terrible, <laughs> uh, but you know it's fuck. I don't, I don't know. It, it's it's a it's a good mash, guys. This this uh, program is. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really a big fan of it, honestly. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's the, the smartest idea to have it. And the problem Sounds is, it's like will, a bad idea. It is. I don't know. It's going to become probably used a good chunk of people. But uh, get banned. Yeah, QT. QT. Yeah. I see me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the problem is that ArenaNet decided they didn't want. This is their this is their reasoning. I can tell you what it is. ArenaNet does not want to give us anything like this because people use it to gear check people. People use it to realize that they're doing that. One person is doing forty percent of the group's damage. One person. People use it to see stuff like that, and so their mentality is, we'll just ban the people that use it, right. and that'll solve the problem, and then we'll just go back to our community that we want. I mean, personally, I um, I would love to have an actual in-game, not illegal, bannable DPS reader. I know a lot of people are against that for a variety of reasons, but, I mean... <laughs> Will the toxicity get that much worse? I guess it would to an extent. It's already pretty bad, so I, I don't yeah. know. I think some pugs are pretty toxic, actually. Yeah. Already. Yeah. The thing is, yeah. you just if you if you wanna if you want to do this, ArenaNet, if this is the community that you want to have, just look at Apple. Uh, just go just go see what Apple's done and what they've created and their wonderful ecosystem and world. But they've created a DPS meter. Person, personally, I would love to be able to see how much myself and my group is doing DPS-wise to to figure out, you know, where the problem is. 
or you know am i not doing something right that's exactly what it would do why people would use it and then it's exactly the reason people uh, oh <laughs> doesn't this, want it this ellie's not doing enough dps kick uh, he was only not doing enough dps because he was dead half the fight though t but i, uh, I guess I so mean, maybe he should be running nomad gear or something then yeah 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 he'll have more does the thing about oh you, you muted you muted you totally design. cut out oh. yeah is it working now? Yeah. The thing about DPS and DPS uptime is that it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you're playing Sentinel's gear on an Elementalist, you may have 100% uptime on your DPS, but you're also not doing any DPS. So really, you just have uptime. You don't have DPS uptime. <laughs> and, and if you play a full glass cannon Berserker build, ah. like on <laughs> or something, or on an Elementalist, and you do 200k damage in the first, like, 15 seconds of the fight, and then you die, and you see that at the end of the fight, whenever it's over, that your DPS still leveled out to about 10k, and your 10% of the group's damage when you've been dead for six minutes... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't get me wrong, I understand some of the the evils that come with you know having an in-game dps meter and i understand why arena net doesn't want to go down that path why they sort of take a stance against it personally you know especially when i'm running with an organized group like within salt or, or whatever guild that i run with i would really love to have it it would make me a better player in the long run so and I know not everybody sees it as that. They, they see it as a tool of persecution against them. But I don't know. I, I would still rather have it personally. You know what? I would too. It wasn't that bad in, uh, what's it called? WoW. In WoW, it was, it was fine. WoW, yeah, and Rift. I mean, it, all those games had uh, use for those things. and. Yeah. I mean, I guess I didn't care that much because... I was just doing DPS and I was okay at it. Like, so I'm like not the guy who's getting kicked. But, uh, but yeah, no, I don't know. I don't see them releasing that in the next year. I, I just or, e ever, ever. ever. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think so either. I, but unless I would, I would this, still love to have it. Unless, pr unless uh, solutions like the one we're discussing become so common that pretty much everyone is using it then they'll never do it right i'm waiting well, for i'm waiting for a, a wave of bands to go out where they if if the, i don't, you don't think they, I don't you don't think the they thing. do a warning first or something no arena don't take prisoners honestly yeah mm. and when that does happen it'll be it'll be all over reddit so you'll know about it <laughs> yeah right i did nothing wrong yeah. arena net i did nothing wrong yeah i just wanted to I just wanted to make music for wooden potatoes. I didn't hack. <laughs> 29 DPS in 60 seconds. Yeah. Zach just got banned for, uh, for, for making fun of Brobo. <laughs> Unmod Brobo. At least you're not getting kicked from ES. Oh, yeah. Brobo Frodo got kicked from ES. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing about hack DPS meter is there a disclaimer on the site that says do not send in bug reports slash crash reports while <laughs> using this ever. How would you know that, <laughs> How would you know that? Yeah. Wow, if I get banned for this, I'm just done with the internet. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I personally, I don't think you're going to get banned. But um, I think they could wait, if they wait, wanted wait, to. Wait, One up. If because the, also, no, 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 the, you you know you have to you have to look at this in in what's actually being used here, right? All the fucking elitist tryhard guilds, and I suppose I should probably clarify that when I say elitist, I I mean that in an ironic sense. Uh, but they actually use it to improve themselves, right? They actually use these tools I, to make themselves better at the game, right. um, yeah. and it, it's kind of a very well almost a necessary tool for them when when they get to this point, right? So they really need to be just finding where they can find these small improvements. It's very easy to do that if you have an it's, analytic tool like this. It's good as a tool for a guild that likes to work together and improve themselves. It's bad as a tool for someone who likes to go pugging and lead pug groups because that's not going to end well. 
A okay. hammer is a good tool to hammer nails. It's tr- it is a true. bad tool to murder people. Wrong. Oh, I'm, oh, <laughs> I don't know about that, Inks. I think that's a pretty... I watched... Uh, I, watched I binge-watched Luther uh, from, like, Thursday to Saturday. Really? Yeah, Luther? it was good. Luther was a very good TV show. Yeah, right? excellent TV show. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and, uh, and yeah, they used hammers quite often in that show, actually. Yeah. Because I guess do. there's no gun laws. There, I mean, there's gun laws in... Uh, yeah. No, in you England, don't so. Not a lot of um, guns over here. This, this isn't a place for this conversation, but that tool is so wrong for that job in so many levels. Wrong. No, no, not well, wrong. Inks. So not tell wrong. tell us what is the ideal. Tell us, how would you murder people, <laughs> yeah. Inks? Oh. <laughs> the cast well, off. I've thought alone. about this for a long time. Look, the cast off alone. Come on, you're you're leaving. You know, you're leaving a map to to everything that happened there. Come oh. on. Oh yeah, with the uh, what's it called? Uh, Dexter and the blood spanner analysis. I'm talking about TV shows. I mean, come on. You're talking about real life things. I'm talking about the some, best real, way, science. real science. The best way to ever kill someone. This is real talk, all right? The best way to kill somebody <laughs> is to just leave them alone and just let them die on their own. Just oh, just, just leave them to be. And then no one just, ever. Then no one ever knows. Then don't no even know. No one will ever you. find out. Yeah, they can't Holy prove it. Shit. They can't prove. Just, just oh mind your own business. That's actually fucking. Just invite them over for three about them. Pizza every night. Yeah, just feed them. Feed them. Cut that out. Sorry. See, Inks has already started. Yeah, there's, no there's this victim G-Sack. right there calling back, <laughs> asking when the pizza's ready. Oh my god! Yeah, they're, they're calling. It's just Stop. fucking crazy. I'm watching tea time. Shut up. Stop talking about it. So what's the uh, what's the screen behind you, Inks? What's that for? It's a it's a screen. Okay, thank you. That's very so. very descriptive. You're gonna get a bit of bit of audio foam, you know, a little bit of bit of foam yep. around the yep. really really no yeah. Fair enough. The goal. Yeah, the yeah, goal yeah, is yeah. I need to get another piece so that I can extend it yeah, yeah, along yeah. here, and then yeah. put some put some pieces of audio foam up to to help a little bit with my constant noise problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, I mean that's actually something I would look to do honestly, but I'm too lazy. And not that I really have plans for it, but. Um, <laughs> Zach, not that I have plans for it, but if I ever wanted to do a green screen, it would be easy just to drape, uh, you know, a green screen behind me with that. Yeah, green screen. Mm-hmm. And I could, you I can be, be like Teapot. Then. Yeah, you can be like me. <laughs> you could role play as me, Inks. And I'm sure you would so, like that. Next so moving, Halloween, moving down to where I'm moving, uh, the. Renting is ridiculously expensive, like I told you guys. Okay. So uh, we have we got a two room, two bedroom place. One for our bedroom, one for our computers. Eh. <laughs> oh my god! Uh. Oh my god! Yeah. I, you guys I, have very similar hair now that I'm looking at you. <laughs> you should put that face on Brazil. That should be Brazil's face. Hi. We're gonna build a wall <laughs> to keep keep boots out, okay? <laughs> oh, his face! I can't stand looking at his face. Who's oh, mine? Oh no, not yours, Trump's. Just his oh. mouth. I just, oh, God, it's so terrible. It's so bad. <sighs> Tyria is the new China, guys. Okay. Oh, is it flat? Oh, you have motion tracking Trump's face. I didn't even realize. Yes, yes, I do. I was doing something else. Yeah. It's hard to do his mouth movement. <laughs> it's hard to do that. It's like well, totally derailed. Show's <laughs> over. <sighs> oh, I still have that GIF. Hang on, I have the GIF I made of the white mantle. Yeah, that's a really good one, actually. Yeah, the white mantle GIF. Uh, Let me upload. Uh, uh, so, I didn't quite yeah. pan out that way though. Look, we got, we got to, we got to, we got to bring this back. We got to bring this back, guys. We got to, we got to re- put this train back on, back on the, back on the tracks. Oh, but sorry. Let's, yeah. let's go, boots. Let's go. What, what do you got for us? Oh, uh, okay. So I know that two people I know analyzed the trailer, Inks and Win Potatoes. Inks, 
any find find any juicy things in the trailer that you could talk to us about? The uh, I mean the trailer, you know, there's there's a couple little bits here and there. And you gotta watch the video boots. What the hell? I skimmed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the trailer had a lot of shots of player characters, which 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 none of them had new gear, weapons, or anything like that. So when they have those shots, there's really not a lot to pull out of that. There was, of course, the ice castle, which worries me that that is a, like the Mursat fortress, which really is just a, you know, a, you know, it's all show and there's really nothing inside. Mm. So that that kind of has me worried in that regard that uh, there's, you know, it's just going to be like the outside looks cool, but there's really nothing inside, just like the Mursat thing. Mm. I noticed in one of the screen grabs there was a there was like the infused magic or the un unbound magic little puppers around. So I guess they're yeah. gonna have those all over the map too. Yeah, and there's another screenshot where you can see a ley line in the background. So obviously there's gonna be ley lines. I am I imagine just like a lot of the other maps, you know, there's gonna be the unbound magic, there's gonna be ley lines, probably mushrooms, you know. They, they reuse a lot of those so that your masteries actually mean something to use around the map. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we noticed that uh, Garm is now with, what's her name, with Rox? Rox. Rox yeah. and Garm, best She got, right. finally got a second pet. She, yeah, yeah she, she can now pet swap. Pet swap. Pet swap, and I guess she's using Garm up here because Frostbite would get too cold, which is weird. Why is his name Frostbite? Why is his name Frostbite? Uh, there was a story on how she found Frostbite. I don't know. Yeah. She, that's just what she calls Frostbite. She just Is it because of the, the, the color? The color? Oh, I know why. Yeah. It was, well, I think it was something to do with... It was during the story, living story, when it was yeah. the ice and... Molten ice and stuff. Like the ice Flame and fire. And frost. Flame, Flame and frost. frost. So I think it was Frostbite. For no other reason than that, maybe? Gotta look that oh. up. Well, there's the story. Yeah, he's an albino. He's an like albino, snow. So maybe, I guess so. Maybe that's where it comes. It might be in the story. I, I know the story was that the uh, devour hatching area, which is actually an instance in the game, it gets attacked by the dredge. Was it cold in there? And no, no. But uh, a lot of those devourers get killed, except for Frostbite. Ah. And she kind of she inherits the orphan, I guess. The albino orphan. Maybe the albino. Okay, so frost. It, it looks like snow, so it's frost, and it bites people. So it's frostbite. Yes. I guess. Simple. Okay. Easy. Yeah, the defense of the hatchery. There you go. Yeah. So frostbite gets frostbite going up north, so she has to take Garm instead. Um, I mean, I'm not sure how good a, a ranger Rox really is, because she's using a devourer pet and, uh, and a wolf. Is Rox a druid, PD. though? Is Rox a druid? No. Fucking pleb. Not yet, anyway. Trash. <laughs> Not yeah. even a druid. Not Way even a druid. <laughs> wow. And nice she uses a short bow. How, okay, so... Short bow. She doesn't even weapon swap. Fail. Bl Blinda's a... Not player. Blinda. Uh, Marjorie's a reaper now, though, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah okay. So she's got a reaper. Got that great sword. And Bram's yeah. dragon hunter, isn't he? He's got that longbow. Uh, he has the longbow. He hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't used, used it yet. Oh, then he's again, he's been, he's been missing he not... since the end of Heart of Thorn, so... I thought he turned into one after, you know, the old, uh, the old spiky spiky. Not yet. He's oh, hunting dragons. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, I've, I, this is how much I've been paying attention, guys. You know, I really know what, I know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> okay. Teapot has no idea. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but Ritlock is a Revenant, that's true. So wait, that's who else sure. we got? Ka is Casimir a chrono? I don't think so, right? We haven't seen Casimir in Casimir. Where the fuck has she even been? What is this? I don't know. I think holiday. the voice actor is yeah. probably gone. Yeah. But she'll she be back. She disappeared on that Malaysian flight. Wow. What? Ooh. Wow. Jeez, what the hell? Was that? What? <laughs> that was what? so rude. Uh, too soon. It really bad if that was true. Who cares? Imagine if imagine that Brazil knows. You know, he, yeah. he's revealed his, his hand. Uh, it'd be cool if she does become a chronomancer because if they're able yeah. to make that into a plot point, plot point, a plot point, a in plot some point. way, a plot point, uh, 
It would be cool. So we if just she's need able to add to, like, cats to the story. More cats. <laughs> More cats. Yes. I, I want a cat time. from my home instance. Oh. Oh yeah. Do you, do you? Have you started doing the? Uh, Turns out you can have a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah, I have a cat. I just need to put it in my home instance. Oh. <laughs> so we've got a distinct lack of elite specializations in our new guild then. Yeah, our our new guild is not working out so great. Yeah, not a lot they, of they, they're not use. getting the getting the old elite. They're not getting the hero points. We didn't we didn't send the memo wow. out, so except for they, for Marjorie, who is a reaper with a great sword. They've only got ninety eight mastery points. And and yeah, Ritlock is yeah, Ritlock's got Harold, hasn't he? Because he can do all the dragon stuff. Glinty. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we do. We've got some elite specialization action. Mm-hmm. So maybe. Timey- uh, what is Timey doing exactly? I don't, does like, Timey even really have a profession? I'm not sure. Maybe she's going to be the next expansion's profession for engineer, Golemancer. Wouldn't that just be too Azura specific? Nah. You don't think? Kinda. Mechromancer. Mecro. <laughs> Mechromancer. You got and different they mechs. look different for every race. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Timey, yeah, Timey's an engineer, but she doesn't really ever fight outside yeah. of Scruffy, who she yeah. hasn't rebuilt yet. Mm-hmm. A golem slave, she forces to fight for her. <laughs> she's yeah. she's too busy. Uh, she's too busy playing with chalk organs and yeah, named Spencer. Uh, I mean, uh, that's uh, just uh, gross. <laughs> Timey is Timey is clearly the best character in the guild. I, I really dread what how much Timey is going to be in the next episode, <laughs> but unfortunately now we literally can't escape her because we have a voice communication with her. <laughs> I, at, you know what? I'm at okay all times, I'm okay with Timey fulfilling that role because it's better than some character we're never going to meet called Mr. E sending us a mail telling us to go places for whatever reason and we listen to him for whatever reason. It, it's be, it's good to have someone tell us what we have to do and not have some sort of weird contrivance doing it for us. You know, it, timey, timey is character, I guess. And, and I know Brazil's not going to agree with this at all. She won me over a little bit with her interaction with Ritlock in Story 2, in Episode 2. Uh, I warmed up to her character a little bit, but I still find her incredibly annoying and generally don't like her character very much. I'm going to be honest. I think that, like, Hodgins is a better NPC than Timey. <laughs> Which one's Hodgins? <laughs> in, in AC. In AC. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a scepter here. <laughs> <laughs> My notes are unambiguous. Mm. Wow. No, but I think I think it's uh, fine now, because you know, Timey's gone through those... Uh, those issues and we've already dealt with all the issues of like oh we we don't have to protect her anymore she could take care of herself so we don't have to do that again they're trying to make her more adult yeah yeah so so those don't have to happen anymore she she she's she's proven herself as a capable person so now we can just move on and use her as can you put your glasses back on please i know they're much too close together aren't they yeah Uh, um, and I know I know there's a lot of people out there, just like the Quaggan and the Quaggan Shield, who love Timey. I'm I'm just not a fan. The Quaggan Shield is <laughs> it's good. Weapon. It's lovely. I really want to see what it looks like in game. I I think um, it might be cool. It I think I mean, it looks like it's gonna have a lot of animations to it. Like well, you a got lot. a little little Quaggan in there. He's yeah. Um, I I don't really have a problem with it necessarily i just i worry a little bit about and there's no there's no reason that anyone should really think this but i fear them doing this like almost 50 50 split now or introducing a bunch of fun new weapons and i don't i don't want them to go crazy with the fun weapons i don't mind a couple here and there you know we got quip the clown pistol and you know it's okay to have a couple but I don't want them to go too crazy with the fun weapons, you know. I'd, I'd rather have more serious is the wrong term, but you know, do you think normal do, legendaries? Yeah, do I you guess. think they're gonna only for because what what they did was they gave us 
normal legendaries for all the ones that were silly before? Or are they now going to give us silly ones for no. all the normal? That's what I don't want to happen. But is that what's going to happen? No. It sounds like that's no. what's going to happen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is that how it's Come gone so far? On. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. That's what yeah, worries Yeah, that's what they're going to do. No, yeah. why does it worry you? That's what they're going stupid. to do. No, because it becomes, it inks, it becomes inks, overwhelming. It doesn't, it doesn't worry me because that's what they're going to do. So there's no reason to be it's, worried about it. Think of it this way. The shield... When you're uh, an engineer, what, what is an engineer? When you're the character who takes the shield and throws it, I think it's an engineer. Engineer. Yeah. Or Revenant. Right. Or so Revenant. instead of throwing the shield, you're going to throw the quaggin from the bowl. <laughs> Just take the oh, quaggin out. Oh, and throw it at <laughs> people. <laughs> quaggin in your face. And exactly. you know what they're going to do with it, too? They're going to give it unique underwater stuff, I bet. I bet oh, they'll give it unique really? underwater animations. Don't use like the Quaggin. No, how the Quaggin comes how? out of the You can't pool. use it underwater, though. Yeah, you can. You oh, can take no, shields you... underwater. No, you can't. You no. have underwater weapons underwater. underwater weapons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. All right, they're making shield an underwater weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's it, you know it doesn't like I said that it doesn't shows bother you me how too much, much. I'm paying attention now. Wait, sorry, hold on a second. I got. I'm something. just like I'm just like f spaced out and falling asleep. <laughs> Brazil, say say what? that uh, you could use shields underwater again. You can use shields wrong. underwater as a weapon in Guild Wars Two. Wrong, good. wrong. Every, every tea time is just we're trying to record lines for Zach at this point. Oh, he really should be paying us. Yeah, I just I just don't want to see too many funny weapons. I don't think it's necessarily a funny weapon though. I think it's a semi serious semi serious shield. Oh, oh yeah. what? Ha Stop! Wrong. No, it's, <laughs> I, I think it's a, it's a semi serious one. It's got a little quaggin in it. It's not serious. It's dumb. It is not serious. First of all, how does that quaggin get fed? Second of all. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to me. I, or, uh, animal all, rights as well, or Quaggan rights. This is fucked all, up. If you I think about told, it. Like the only way that this shield could be made is if uh, the bowl is entirely made out of diamond instead of glass, because that's the only way that it could survive all the beatings it's going to take. After you pay, after you figure out how much gold it's going to cost to craft it, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> And so how, how are you going to craft it then? What what do we have in game that's diamonds? We have black diamonds. There you go. Mark and manipulation. It's going to be no, made no, out of no, black no, diamonds. No, no, Here we go. Gems. Gems. <laughs> gems. Oh, gems. Okay, made out of gems. Oh, look, Rengaru got it actually at the same time as we did. Look at that. There we go. Made out of gems. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, what is it? It could be made out of some kind of hardened glass. I mean, you can get yeah. some very strong glass in real Transparent life. aluminum. Or in your case, aluminium. Aluminium. Yeah. Alum aluminum. <laughs> is that shit? Is that, is that? Was that Star Trek yeah. movie 7 or something? The one with the the one with the, uh, the whales. The whales? Yeah. What's the yeah. one where they go back in time and save the whales? I don't know which one it was, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then they they teach them how to make transparent aluminum. Good times <laughs> and to speak to whales and speak let's, to whales. <laughs> let's mani let's manipulate the market. What 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 do you think is going to be in the new shield? Let's actually just manipulate the market. Oh, uh, seaweed. Quaggin bit. Seaweed. Seaweed. Qu Quag and meat. Qu Quag and meat. Seaweed. <laughs> Quag and meat. <laughs> oh my god. Poultry meat. Well, Poultry when, meat. when a mommy quaggin and a daddy quaggin love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> Silver ingots? Uh, so why silver ingots? Oh, uh, coarse sand. Lots of that sand. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that actually does make sense in fairness. You, that, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then black diamonds for the, sh for the, for the fishbowl. Oh, no, they have glass. You can make... Quartz uh, crystals. Quartz crystals. You can make the glass for the, the guild hall and stuff, right? <laughs> I don't know. You can make the like lumps glass of glass or, or whatever it's called. Oh. There Done. you go. 
bay leaves to season season, season, season the quaggan season the quaggan with bay leaves oh you're gonna need quag you need quaggan lure food as well to to lure, lure the quaggan into the shield and make him not want to leave so like constant drugs uh, you need a you need a large supply of that. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine a, if it, a stack of stack charged of quartz charge. crystals. Oh, oh, oh. That, would be, that would be. You need so one funny. for each like yeah. tier of the shield. Oh, that would be such a good troll. Oh my god, like two hundred fifty days of charging it. Oh my god, the pain <laughs> to make it. That would be really funny actually. Oh, enchanted water. Remember that item we manipulated last time. Oh, enchanted! It's all coming water. together. It's all coming together. We were right the whole time. We were playing the long game. You know how you guys thought we were actually joking? It was actually legit. We knew about the shield for so long. It's legit. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's not a real quag, and it's Hodgins. <laughs> Quagins. Quagins. Yeah. Someone actually ordered a good amount of sand. Well, there we go. How to feed pets in Farmville, where yeah. Guild Wars 2 legendaries. Ah, they're like the same thing. Hmm. The process is similar. Yeah. <laughs> it is actually, you know, I mean, if you're to think about the concept of this shield, this is pretty messed up. You're actually, I mean, like, look in chat, you know. You're, you've got like a tiny little baby quaggan, and you just, you know, you, you let people hit it. Wow. Sand spike? No way. Wow. Really? <laughs> Hang on, I'm having a look. How do you do that? Probably, probably before our speculation. I'm sure somebody yeah, else thought this already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, How if enough you... people do it, reading it will just change the ingredients. Yeah. We'll just change it up. Pile of coarse sand. I can't even look at it because my account isn't verified. Thank you, reading it. <laughs> it didn't spike. I don't think it did. Oh my god. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> All right. All right. That time of day. How yeah, can you I'm be tired? Ti but I'm yeah, tired too, yeah. Brazil. We we yeah, have to Brazil. do this together. Yeah, but the difference is that I'm bored. <laughs> oh my god! You can have a big day tomorrow. Brazil, <laughs> so go ahead, you can take a nap. It's okay. I don't have yeah. a big day tomorrow. You're not I gonna play. Off... The... I'm not gonna what? Play the expansion or whatever it's called. The, the expansion. Uh... The, exp the, the new expansion. Nice. Wow. Nice expansion. leak there, boots. <laughs> You're not supposed <laughs> to tell them that. You're, oh, not no. supposed, you're not supposed to tell them the new expansion comes out it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, guys. Coarse sand. This this spiking. Oh, man. Oh, Coarse sand. Buy it now, guys. Quick. Oh, Brobo wants to get onto tea time. He always... He, that's like his new thing. He's no, got to pay. We can't just add... He's got to pay. We can't just add Brobo to tea time. Just out of nowhere. Brobo, uh, 10 bucks into Teapot's Patreon, and you could come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Bro Brobo's already been added to the call. It's already too late. Why are we adding Brobo every <laughs> single fucking time? Brazil does this every week. <laughs> Brazil, why? Stop adding Brobo to I the love fucking Brobo. call. Stop adding I Brobo to the Brobo. call. Hello? Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weekly thing now. Oh my oh god. My god. The, the, the derail begins. Good. And don't add so, him again. Not like this. Paul Brobo? What did you want to say? Uh, well, Hello, caller. Sorry. Hello? Yeah, Hello? Hi. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Why are you so toxic? Why are you so toxic, bro? bro? Oh, I don't know. There's just too many retards in this fucking guild. So yeah. <laughs> Brazil's so tired he finds anything funny at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I have no jokes for me right now. Yeah. But I mean, you know, let, let's get to the bottom of this, bro. bro. Let's have, um, let's find out the truth here. Why is it that you're constantly triggered now because of salt? I, I don't know. It's just like after I found this guy running Sentinel's gear, just <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking done with the guild. <laughs> well, the problem is, Brobo, you don't want to be a part of any group that'll accept you, and it's, salt is the only group that'll accept you, so you don't want to. Wow. Be wow. <laughs> no. Oh. Sorry, only salt will accept that. Brobo. Is that why all of your friends are uh, birds, Boots? Do you have beady little eyes and you just swoop around together? All of my friends are birds. Yeah. <laughs> That's an insult. <laughs> what the hell was that? Correct. Oh my Fucking god. Fucking destroyed. He yeah, that's actually destroyed. Him. That's demolished. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. They're all birds. Yeah. They're all birds the whole time.
Boots fucking died on tea time today, holy shit. Yeah. That's actually yeah. complete savage. Got him, got him good. Yeah. Uh, Twitch chat wants a live performance of Ocean Bro, bro. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Ocean man. Wow. <laughs> kick. Yeah. Tea time kick. Tea time kick, uh, feels bad, man. Yeah. Remember Brobo dying at Zera because of stacks? That was funny, though. No, that's really, really funny. <laughs> I don't know. I walked into the, I walked into like the the, the pizza thing and then died. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know, but what were you? Yeah, it wasn't boots. You were gonna say something. Were you gonna actually move it to a useful part of the discussion? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I I think you, you maybe were. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I was gonna take about talk about birds. Birds, my friends. Yeah. Uh, did you know what? Get, get, guess what the uh, official. Um, bird of Canada is what, what the is national national bird Bro is it Brobo Frodo? It no, it's not Robo Frodo. Uh, he's Bobo the national Fodo? bird of the ocean. Uh, no, it is not the loon. You'd think it'd be the loon. I thought not, it was a loon. No, it's not the loon. Apparently, oh, I, it's I got the, tricked. It's the gray jay. It's the two. Wait, what are you talking about? Tuny? Yeah. <laughs> The Grey Jay is the national bird of Canada. I did not know that. Yeah. It's no like a guess. small blue jay. That's grey. A, mo a moose bird. Yes, it's a moose, moose, bird. It's a moose bird. <laughs> oh, shoot. Not in Canada, but in uh, Alaska. Apparently, there's they just discovered two, two moose that... Oh, uh, I've seen that, yeah. Locked in battle, horns. Frozen. Frozen in Whoa. Like, a river or something. Just like... Up to their antlers, frozen. They were in the middle of fighting, and they got frozen. I want to that, see that. Wait, were they still alive? No. <laughs> well, maybe, oh. maybe they could be. They were frozen. Frozen. Bro, bro, what the nice link, dude. What is, Holy what shit. is that? Bro, bro, what the what is it? What the fuck? <laughs> shit, I retarded. Wrong oh link. my god. People are gonna start <laughs> spamming this now. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Result slowly losing his mind. This this is the link here. Yeah. I, I meant I meant to send this actually. Oh, whatever, whatever boots it even. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is so that? this is what they found. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what is that picture? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? We, we, it's it's know. over. It's this shit is fucking fucked. It's yeah. it's <laughs> getting how, out of control. How did the twenty four hour stream go, people? It was easy. It was easy did to you, stay awake. Did you I actually do all of it? I thought it was. Did I, did oh, I do yeah. all of it? Yeah, it's pretty great, eh? <laughs> yeah. How many fractals did you actually do? We did nice one of every bird. every fractal, so like fifteen fractals. All right. You not that many. Not that many. Oh, well, this is why I have no idea, Boots. The Grey Jay doesn't come into my area. Oh, no? No. Oh, you guys, you got Blue Jays over there. Yeah, we have Blue Jays. Yeah. Tea time is bird watching now? Yeah. Bird dead, watching. You're dead moose meat. That's some dead moose meat. That's what that is, yeah? That is, it's probably well preserved, too. You could, uh. Could throw that out and eat it, you know? That. Yeah. Yeah. So are we done? Is that it? Do you want to take questions from the audience and I, then call it a day? I mean, they, they can they can ask us some stuff, but I mean, this is just a massive clown fiesta at this point. Questions. I get added every three times. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we keep adding Brovo? We need to stop this. What did I'm you a, need I'm to a, say? You said that you needed to say something. Yeah. And then... oh, I, don't, I don't remember. It was when you were talking about something, like talking about the meters or something. Is it because you know. got went... kicked from ES or something? I don't know. Did you get kicked from <laughs> ES from using a meter? <laughs> yes, yeah, what it was, of course. There we go, he admits it. ES, ES won't put up with that. Yeah, they didn't they didn't tolerate that kind of behavior. Yeah. I guess we gotta invite Umbra to the call now? Add Umbra as well. Go, do it. Why? No, we're not adding anyone to the call. That's fucking Why did stupid. I ban you? Oh, I don't know, I banned so many people, I don't even remember you. Yeah, so. you keep banning people. <gasps> when when will you take it when will I would take example of inks and grow a majestic beard? Never. Never, oh, yeah. wow, harsh. Yeah. It's it's that time of year for me to. That's a particular someone that's online right now. Nemesis. Nemesis, add add go go. Oh yeah. <laughs> go on, no ball. 
I want to be honored to be at a call with Nemesis. <laughs> Jeb, Jeb is also online. Jeb, bro. Oh, no. I, 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 I don't want to add Nemesis. <laughs> No, oh, I know. I'll probably, I'll probably disturb him because he's probably working on something. Yeah. Let's do it. What a new build? Yeah. Part four. He'd be so proud to see all of these emotes, though. You know? All the teapot yeah. memesis. I wonder if he even seen the emotes actually. Yeah, Did he knows. His... He knows. Ask for his permission. Yeah. All right, let. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, what, what, should we, what should we actually talk about though? I mean, I, I think we kind of got. The, I mean, there's a new fractal, but we kind of talked about that. It's bullet hell. Can't really see anything there. Uh, part four, yeah, he's making part four right now. <laughs> he's coming after QT. Nemesis is coming after QT. He saw uh -oh. all these elitist strats. He's he's coming for QT. Oh man, oh, man. gonna attack the benchmarks. Yeah, I think. Uh, okay, here's a, here's an interesting question that we can talk about actually, and I kind of wanted to bring this up earlier, but. You know, what, what What do you guys think is going to happen with the actual overall narrative of, of the story, right? Because we're going away from all the White from Mantle what's stuff. what's her name? Yeah, from... Wait, oh. No, 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 not that. I mean, that too as well. Uh, but I kind of mean more like, you know, we're, we're going away from the current storyline to a certain extent with all the Mersat and stuff, right? The White yeah, Mantle will sort come of. back at some point. They have to. Yeah, they'll be back, but I don't think they're in the... Shiver Peaks. What if the White Mantle are Probably a dragon? Not. I think that. Uh, I think, I think that the next time that they'll be back is when they're doing something I'm with gonna be... Jenna. No, you're all wrong. So what's going to happen is Guild Wars Two is actually going to do something good, and they're going to have a. That's the funniest thing that all evening. Wow. They're, Get they're rid gonna of Robo. Be... Kick him. They're going to be a lot of. <laughs> Wait, can I do? That? Kick Bulba, go go. Don't do it, don't do it. Dispose of him. Oh, I can't! There yes! We okay. <laughs> there we go. It's, wow. it, it is done. <laughs> wow. Right. Continue, Brazil. I think he might be <laughs> muted or something. Oh, wow, back. nice oh. bully, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's back. But what they're gonna do is they're gonna take a lot of small factions who are... Some are probably going to be flat out evil. Some are going to be morally ambiguous. And some are going to be what we would define as good from our perspective, but probably also idealistic and ignorant to a degree. And they're going to put them all together to team up to take down big absolute evil that has it out for everyone. So something like that's going to happen, and that's actually correct. That's the correct thing to do. All the dragons at once. Every dragon. Mm, probably not going to be that. No, I don't think they'll do that, but I think we'll eventually get to the point where there's just, like, one super-powered dragon, probably. Yeah, because it would, it would just like, continuously absorb all the other dragons. Right, versus, like, the little one But that this we got. Now, this is where... What I think we should do. We simply yeah. train our dragon to kill the other dragons. Right, exactly. I'm not even now joking there. So we so, funnel, see, what we funnel the gonna... energy of <laughs> the, dying, the dying dragons. <laughs> okay, through we, Spencer. We, through Spencer, we, yeah. Through we Spencer. We organ transplant and we, Spencer yeah, into, our into, our, into our dragon. Okay, so we put our dragon next to the next dragon <laughs> we kill. And then we drain right. that dragon. We suck it yeah. dry. Aureen sucks the next dragon dry, okay? Yeah. I <laughs> want to see six hot dragon magics. This time you're going to suck On your chalk dry. organ. Yeah. Now! I'm the boss of this magic. Yeah. I'm the boss of Ugh. this. I'm the boss of this fractal. This time uh, you're going to absorb the drag magic. I'm going to watch you do it. <laughs> oh, God, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Uh. Oh, look what's happening in Twitch chat. What are you guys? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> but yeah, and then we our dragon becomes the most powerful dragon. Okay. Yeah. And we just destroy all the other dragons. No, yeah. and see, our dragon becomes the most powerful one, but it also gets corrupted and evil. Oh and we have to no! We have to put it down. Thank yeah, God. Right. But how can? No, 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 all right, so this is what happens. Yeah, I'm ready. So uh, it gets to that point. No, you can hear me. I just had to okay. cough, so I mean, oh, it's okay. Off. It's gonna get to that point where Aureen wins and becomes super powerful, but like unstable and like corrupt, kind of. And so Lazarus 
we Lazarus says we have to kill Orin. And then the player character is like, no, we can't do it. It's cute. And Lazarus is like, this is why I came to begin with. I knew this would happen. And so Lazarus sacrifices himself and kills Aureen, and we know it's the right decision, but we didn't want it to happen. I think and it's going to be the other way around. We think Lazarus is going to absorb the magic, and Aureen has to kill him. I think we're going to have to kill him. Aureen's just going to be like, basically, uh, what's her name? That that girl from Guild Wars 1, Alona Cormier. Cormier, she's going to take all the credit? Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, Orin. Anyway, the point is, I think that they can't make Orin uh, turn evil because that would posit that dragons are inherently evil rather than the well, ma- well not necessarily. Does it, does it though? I mean, things get corrupted. I mean, the uh, this uh, other are the Silvari inherently evil because they get corrupted and they start going crazy. I don't think so. Everyone is. Yeah, uh, everyone is corrupt. There we go. Fucking feels bad, man. Why do you mm. think we have all these leaks in the, uh, you know, all this inside information, you know? People are corrupt. Because there's a crack in the ice. For the same reason we got content. <laughs> Good mash. Good mash. <laughs> so, do we end ice. it there? Crack in the ice? And that, that's that's quite oh. an ending right there. It's been like the shortest tea time ever. It's no, it, it's just that the previous tea times have just been insanely long. Yeah, because well, basically, this is like, what two hours? How is this short? We just added, uh, just two added, we just added Kevin to the call last time. It just went on forever. Oh, that was amazing, actually. How We're making long up that for... one last. That long was time. two hours, two hours and forty minutes. That tea time was the actual file was oh, two hours and. We've 40 done minutes. longer with just us. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, with with Nemesis, the longest tea time was Nemesis. It was like three hours and ten minutes or something. Come on, it, it, it's just just Nemesis talking about Ice Bow. You know, it's just <laughs> <laughs> those are some good times. Those are some good times. Mm. Uh, good no, Nemesis. it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be what's his name, uh, Lazarus, making friendly to get his own means, and eventually we have to take him down to win his army. No, I think Lazarus is a good guy. He could be a good guy. He's a good uh, player. He's uh, a nice guy. Just I think he's a. <laughs> I think he's a Byronic hero. <laughs> he's a what? Byronic hero. He's a Byronic, Byronic hero. I don't know. I don't think he's uh, playing on the up and up. I think it's very probable that he's gonna, or has something else going on anyway. He's going to betray us at any moment. Uh, he, he might yeah. just—he he might just kind of accidentally uh, betray us, right? Well, I mean, uh, it, it's kind yes. of like he, he, we're just in his way, and he just kind of, you know, doesn't really give a shit. I mean, accidentally, but well, it's, it's, I, it, he'll just not really care, and then he'll accidentally screw us over, and then oh, be, oh, oh fuck. slip from like, my bloodstone. Don't yeah, exactly. forget that he had no qualms in letting the white mantle sacrifice thousands and thousands of souls. To power him up. Yeah, what's wrong? He can't stop that. No, but wrong. No, wrong. (laughs) That's that's fine. He he said that uh, when you questioned him about that, he says that was that was mismanagement by the White Mantle. Oh yeah, knowing what they were doing. Exactly, so it's not his fault. Yeah, not his fault. Yeah, totally not his fault. Which did nothing wrong. Lazarus did nothing wrong. Lazarus did MH, whatever it was. Yeah. He did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong. And uh, they were doing nothing wrong back uh, 250 years ago, too. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if he's going to go evil. He, he he might just... Like I said, I, my theory is that he'll just kind of disregard us. And we're like, oh, shit, looks like we get fucked now. Because Lazarus didn't hook us up. And then, you go, oh, yeah, that's pretty sad. Then we hunt him down and kill him. And he's a raid boss. And all the lore people are really, really fucking sad. Because we got him as a raid boss. And then there's going to be a Reddit post. And they remove raids from the game. And they ban everyone who's ever been in raids. <laughs> um, okay. And, and that's how uh, uh, goes out of control. Everyone who's ever even been in a raid instance is banned from the game. And it just becomes casual. But the community's really friendly. Uh, Welcome except to 2017. For, and everyone just runs world bosses. They do Tarir multi-loot and soldiers gear. And that's and everyone's happy in the game. 
<laughs> and they buffed to rear multi loot. They actually buffed to rear multi loot. Yep, teapot. This is the reason I'm always triggered. What? Because, <laughs> because of to rear multi loot? No, because of people running soldiers gear and shit like this. The community yeah. is full of retards. Well, so do you think, Brobo, that they should just delete soldiers gear? They should delete anything apart from berserkers. <laughs> <laughs> they should delete. They should delete all skills. Delete all condition bows wow. as well. Wow. Only berserk. Yeah, all skills apart from ice bow. Ice bow four. Yeah. <laughs> they, they are nerfing to rear multi loot. What, what do you mean? It is Josh. When are they nerfing it? Is that more inside info? Oh yeah, they oh, said they're, they're looking. Yeah, there was, there's a comment. On Reddit, totally and he said something like, comment. we're looking into methods of dealing with it or something, if I recall correctly, with the yeah. multi-loot. Uh, but the, it, it's going to be it's gonna be silly, because people are just going to riot um, over the fact that... Um, Why? People will riot, because they don't like it when it's taken away from them, do they? Yeah, true. Right? They don't... They, <laughs> even it even so though can... it's kind of silly, they're, they're still going to be unhappy when it's taken away. Make it so you can only mm. open the chest, like, I don't know, once every half day or something yeah. like this. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm. Hey, how about if uh, you start seeing all the lace, ley line magic after the next dragon kill going up into the floating castle? And then it's in the raid wing. Oh my god. And, but what would be yeah. in the castle, though? What would be in the... Cordicus... Ezekiel Everstone, who is also Mr. E, and oh. also evil. He was evil the whole way. time? Well, I he, mean, was, the... he was instructing you to kill the dragon so he could suck up their magic. They, they, they kind of dropped that storyline, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can do raids in soldier's gear, easy. Isn't that right, brother? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. See, look, he's actually getting triggered. All right, I'm gonna go take care of some stuff. You guys have fun. Yeah. Oh. I'll just leave the call running. GG. Maybe I'll be back. I don't know. Oh, yeah. fucking red Brazil! Oh. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the new raid wing location is very interesting. Um, it could be anywhere, really. Actually, you know, you know, uh, now. I think I we have said this before, but I seriously think there's a real chance it could be some kind of secret lair of the snowman style thing. Raid. You think? Yeah. I saw that on Reddit. Someone posted that we're getting really close to. I don't know. I'm not. Love, yeah, yeah, yeah. I we're so close. That, but... We are so close. The secret lair of the snowman on the old map. You think it's going to be a Winter's Day raid? That's one boss, and it's secret I, lair of the yeah, snow. Yeah. I, I think there could be like a one bot, one off, one boss. You fight Freezy or something. I mean, I would That'd love that. Cool. But... With a cool. bit of trash or something. I mean, why not? Right. That's yeah. how they add something to Winter's Day. Yeah, I think they have to really also cool. make it. They have to also make it a five man. Just yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. They could add it like, like a but five why, man. Why? Because uh, because because oh. otherwise it caters to five percent of the population it, for Winter's Day. Even less. And oh, Winter's Day I... is a thing that's supposed to be inclusive to everyone. <laughs> find a group. That's what LFG is for. Uh -huh. But, but I mean, what if it's they can't MMO. do the raid? To what play if they can't do the people. raid? What if what if they main Revenant inks? <laughs> Listen, yeah. I'm not allowed to talk about Revenant anymore. What if I they gotta, main I gotta Condi comment. Necro? What if they Look, main Revenant, Condi Necro? Revenant is dead, and it is a jack of all trades class, and uh, they will never be good. They will never be part of the meta, and I just have to accept it. So that's what I'm doing. But what about that 7K? Condi DPS I'm doing. Nope, terrible. Wow. Mm. That was actually, He's so elitist, this guy. That, I mean, Inks is actually pretty elitist. Inks is an elitist, I think. I think he is. I bet he uses memory reading DPS meters, actually. I do not. I do not. Oh, yeah. Nice nope. denial. Oh, God, I hate everyone who uses that memory reading DPS. Girl. Oh, yeah. yeah? You would, you would yeah. never allow that. Because everybody never, sees that Robo is using exotics. Robo would never do that. To see his, does it does it show you DPS uptime? I'm not sure. It shows, it shows you the uptime of other things. Well, yeah, I know that. But you know what? Oh. You know what though, guys? I've demonstrated that you can do all PvE in the game just by running around with bomb kit and pressing one. That's all you need to do. 
Is that, is that all you have to do on Power NG? All you have to do is Power NG. Yeah. And if you can do okay. it on Power NG, you can do bomb it on Power one. Rev. Bomb Kit mm -hmm. 1. Just run around in circles. Put Bomb Kit 1. Pretty strong. 10k damage each hit. It's not bad. Yeah, and that was in the exotic gear as well. Like trash. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I'll, I guess I can play engineer. I'll just uh, I can I can press one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I played Revenant. I can play bomb kit NG. Hi, <laughs> Tipo. I am a new Guild Wars two player who just wants to use my soldiers gear to raid in. Why do I always get kicked? <laughs> because you're trash. Wow. He was asking. Bravo is honestly so Go fucking ahead, top. Tipo. Well, it's because. In raids, it's all about doing damage. You're gonna need that berserker gear, but oh, this guy is trolling, just so you know, like 100. Yeah, that's right, why you. If we, if we could just happen. do damage in our assault raids, then everything would be so much easier. Oh my god, like, Bravo, but I, Why are you so triggered, dude? This is like Nikki in dungeons all over again. Holy shit! <laughs> I've seen that. It, it's, the, it, it's the holy yeah, trinity of triggering because Marty is really triggered in fractals the entire time. You're really Marty triggered in raids. Well, we did fractals with him, and even in the low levels, he was just triggered as fuck the whole time. I don't know, Marcy sucks at fractals. Wow. Wow, wow. nice bully. But Brobo is just massively triggered constantly in raids. Well, and I don't know, like, at least at least when, like, Nikki's getting triggered in dungeons, like, I don't know, that's irrelevant content, who cares, but... Wow. wow. True story. <laughs> uh... I don't know, bro, you just gotta chill out, dude. You just gotta have fun. Just gotta relax. Just, just gotta, take yeah. it easy. I mean, why don't you fun? why don't you uh, join an elitist guild or something? Then you can just do clean raids all the time. Yeah. Just join uh, yes, for, what, yes, for example. Just join King or <laughs> QT or, VC. or Snow Crows. I'll join VC. <laughs> See if That's ES will take meme. you back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get on my knees and beg for forgiveness. Oh my! Ooh. On your knees, on, on knees. your on your knees for the leader of ES. <laughs> this time we're gonna do a bench, and I'm gonna oh watch you do it. You could always transfer to NA. I hear that EG is looking for some, some, some good raiders. Yeah. Well, yeah. Shame I'm not a good raider actually. Oh, um, something we should talk about actually, real quick. Uh, apparently, there is a Discord server that. Oh yeah. That does um, raid tutorials for anybody who wants to join in. I'm so like, yeah, quick. Yeah, so like, if you're afraid of doing raiding because you don't think you might be good enough, or uh, you don't know that all the strats very well, there's there's this Discord that organizes groups to. Oh, Robo, is that it? Robo. Yeah, I joined it to see kind of people in there. Okay, That's why good. I joined it. Wanted to learn the bosses. Well, yeah. Nice. So. So yeah, so it's good. So if you if you want to learn how to raid, join it, and hopefully they'll be able to teach yeah, you. That is actually good. That is actually good. Yeah. Actually good I know idea. someone else tried to make a subreddit for it. I don't know if that'll take off as much, yeah, but this one apparently. Yeah, I'm sure it'll yeah, be fine. But this apparently has already 300 members. The Discord channel, so go for it. Yeah. It's New right. follower, Orange Juice. Thanks for following, dude, because Teapot doesn't read them out anymore. I don't read it on tea time, no. It interrupts the flow. I'll do it. Okay, bro, was the answer. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for tea time. Otherwise, this is, this is just going to get out of hand even more so. It, yeah. just goes, it just always just goes out kind of control. You add Borbo, shit just goes, it just goes crazy, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Brobo, you have to roleplay as Brazil, because I think Brazil is not here. What does Brazil do, Brobo? Who is he? Hi, guys. Um... Brazil here. Wrong. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry. I can't. I just can't live up to Brazil. It's too good for me. Okay. Should follow Brazil. He does really good fly-throughs of the raid with Zach mm -hmm. and uh, build guides. His, did you say with his hack really badly? No, with Zach. With Zach. With oh, Zach. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, build videos. Guides. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Go watch you, can, it. you can see uh, his thief gameplay in Arar as well. He also does that. So go go. Oh, go go up. subscribe. Go go subscribe. Uh, let's see. And we have gave up playing uh, board games to come and be with us today. It is Bootspur. Do you regret wow. that decision? <laughs> Only slightly. Uh, Only slightly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rip. Uh, but yeah, I'm Boots. Uh, you find me at World Avengers on YouTube, 
And yeah, I do the bad builds and I'm probably going to have a break from it for a little while and do some other stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we have Good with host uh, eight. host eight, you're not streaming, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, Inks! Doing... Who is MMO Inks? Can anyone tell me? Uh, so for those who don't know, which I, I would assume is very few people here, but you can find me at MMO Inks. There'll be, there's been a couple of videos this week. There'll be a couple of videos next week with a new patch. I want to start, I don't know how well my computer is going to handle it, but I want to get a couple of streams in uh, before November ends, you get at, le at least one, and then a couple in December before I'm gone for that month. So I want to get a couple in before the, the year ends to, to try and get back into the swing of things. It's been too mm -hmm. long. It's been a long Let time. Let me know when you do. I will. I will. I will tweet it out. Yeah. Song requests? Follow, me? follow on Twitter. Multiple. I have a system for song requests. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> what's the system? <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's the system? Come on. How's that going to work? Well, uh, you're, you'll have to watch if you want to make song requests. Oh, that's fine. Well, that's I mean, yeah, that's, yeah that's not a problem. That's well, not see, a problem. Type Twitch TV slash MOing, say AFK in the stream for a bit, then song request. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. You, you might you might get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a little bit of, a little bit of gacha mochi, uh, inks. You know? <laughs> just a, maybe a bit of slapping, just a few slaps. It might be the the real version, the uh, well, the real version. What the fuck is that? The right version. But yeah. Hey, also, there is me. Follow this stream. Uh, then subscribe to the stream for the best emotes on Twitch. Go go. And follow me on Twitter, and then subscribe on YouTube and watch all of the other tea times. I do make other videos sometimes. They're really good.